Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Mario Party 2. What am I saying? So yeah, Peach just got a uh, mushroom. Just double her gold. Or not just got it, she just used it. Got a lot of coins to the bank. Well, not that much, it usually gets up to like 25 or something with different lines on it. Yeah, not much is uh, happening in the board. So what? Watch this. She's gonna open it. Okay. But sometimes the computers are really stupid and open the door and go the other way. Like they'll open the door and they waste their skeleton key and then go the other way. Um. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the star's not here, but I just want to check. I'll go down anyway. You shall not pass. I thought he said I had six spaces left. Dang it. But whatever. Now I'm close to the spot. I'm probably gonna lose this summer, but it's not gonna be too bad. Or I could get lucky. What the heck? You got, you're forced to ride it. I'm sure Wario is just screaming like, what are you kidding me? I'm just, I was about to, you know Yoshi's gonna get that star. I'm sure the computer is like that super cheap guy who's being a jerk. But I know that somehow the computers will be a jerk back to me. Because that's how this makes sense. Yeah, let me talk more about why I don't like this game. First of all, the boards are kind of annoying. Like, the, like this board. Like, the question mark spaces and the... That space we got on the shark are just annoying. I just don't like that. It's, it just, like, it forces you to do things you don't want to do. I mean, a lot of bards are like that, but this one's a lot worse with that. Here's another <laughs> returning mini, and we're getting a lot of these. So, like Shy Guy says, same as the last one, but a lot more difficult. Well, I'm talking like I'm in the top five. The. Uh, it's a lot more difficult this time because Shy Guy will trick you out a lot with his flags. He's just crazy with it. Let's see if he's A there. The at first he's normal. So yeah, first B raised red and A raised right. But the button will be on the flag anyway. And now she raised up both of them. Yes, yeah, first both of them. Like that. He'll change flags. I really should have paid more attention there. That was just stupid of me. But a good idea is just to take your time. And also, lack to the, uh... What am I saying? The, uh... Like, when he, uh... Flies past the, past the screen, that's the time limit. So, if you don't raise your flag by then, he'll shoot you down. Shoot him down, we won't. So, yeah. That's basically what your, uh... Goal is of that minigame. And... I need to be able to fight speaks. Yashi! Oh, I just explained that. A lot of coins stolen, probably. I only got 21 coins! Yeah, that's more than half of them, buddy. I still have enough for the start. I hurt my finger. If you press an L, you can taunt. It's hard to hear because the music's so loud. I'm getting lucky today. Sort of. I need just enough points to get the star. It really hurts. Ah. Yeah. Uh, just take. So, uh, and this. When the left two starts going slower, then, uh. That means that he's gonna. Trick you out a lot. So if he goes really fast and it's your cue, just press it and don't worry. But if he, uh. You know. If it's going slower, then. You should probably pay more attention. So yeah, mini game time for me. It shows on the left what items you can get. And obviously. Um, I'm going for, for the gold mushroom pleasure chest. I'm gonna go for the gold mushroom. So I'm watching it. 
middle barrel down, down, bear down, left down. My grandpa down it. Gold mushroom, all right. See, so yeah, if you, oh, I didn't mention, if you get baby Bowser, then uh, you won't get anything, which can be annoying. But you know, it's like losing a mini game. You don't get anything. I would say I'm doing good, but then I'm just gonna get screwed. See, he got a good one because he's moving like that. Hey, look, first having space. And of course, Wario would land on it. Wait, there's a star. I'm paying attention. Is it like up left or something? And there's your face. Oh, yeah. See, that's the other things I should talk about. Um, um, E3 is passed, and I'll briefly mention it in the Fox Classic mode. It's like, oh my god, E3, oh my god, E3, oh my god, E3, blah, blah, blah. But, new minigame. So, I should explain this. Move to the music, ain't that cool. I keep saying that, stop it! Um, basically, the, the one player is Dance Master. No oh, practice. And you can make up different dance moves. You can left, right, up, down, B, e, A. I like C. I'm pretty sure if by the computers it doesn't really matter. You can just do the same thing and they'll have the same skill. Try to remember the entire dance so you'll be ready when the turn comes on. Yeah, and they have to memorize what I did for their uh, song. They have to dance with me. So let's see if I can make someone up something up cool. So let's do it. Left, B, down. Pretty easy one, but... Oh, no! Why do we even do anything in here? Yeah, the computers aren't very good at this. You have to do two uh, rounds of that before the computers will fail. Or before you lose. So they're like a coin, it's just to lose five of them to the bank. But watch, I'm gonna keep in luck here and win land a one. Not land a one, just roll the one. If I land it on one, I'd be weird. There's no one in here. Me, because I'm number one. Watch. Okay. Oh no, not a battle game. Well, that's actually good for me. So here we go. First battle game. The battle games basically. Oh, I already explained that. Uh, everyone has some points. If you don't have enough, then that sucks. Well, you don't get. It's not suck for you. It sucks for everyone else because because of you, other people will get no points. So it's like I hate when like someone. Puts in not enough coins, and then they get like they put in five coins, and then they get sixty from it when the, you have to put in a fifty, and then you paying fifty coins got cheaped out by a stupid luck game, which there are a lot of these. See, so yeah, this is another returning mini game, Crazy Cutters. So you gotta outline the uh, character. So like sometimes it might be a little confusing, especially with ones like these with the uh, things. Wrong character. Wario for a second. That wasn't very good. Or it was. And battle game, basically whoever gets first, like, there are always many games where you can't really tie. It's just first, second, third, or fourth, instead of winning and losing. So yeah, like, who got second? Well, it also matters if you get second. Which I don't like is, you need... Before I get it. Uh, you should, uh, what am I saying? Uh, you, uh, I don't know what I'm saying, what the heck? Uh, this, you should still try to, you should still try, even if you know you're not gonna get first. But I don't like it, like, if you, if you, it seems like you always get third, because then it's like, you get third, and it's like really annoying, because then it's like, oh wait, no, you don't get the, you don't get anything, even though you did better than one other player. So yeah, this is a dual game, basically it's a one-on-one -on -one game, and this game is really short. Basically, in this one, you gotta press a button combination, which shows up with A, B, and Z. And I won, because I'm much awesome. And I get five coins. 
And that's... Okay. Yeah, they <laughs> really random form the mouse, so it'll make any sense. I guess he bet just enough so I wouldn't be able to get the star or something. Yeah. We have a Bowser. Give me five points. Okay, so E3 is passed. Oh, you lucky piece of garbage. This magic lamp flare! I even took a turn. I think it's like turn 9 or something. Yeah, uh, E3, it was freaking awesome. New console, awesome new 3DS games. It was just awesome. So, um, 3D, there's no 3DS games, there's Mario Kart DS, that I'm not too excited about. I might get that. Even with a magic lamp, dude, what are you doing? Stupid. Oh, I guess all that fame has got to his head. That's why Luigi's so awesome. He doesn't have any fame, so I can go to his head. Except for smarts. So here's actually our first 3DS2. Bob's like, run, another returning minigame, jeez. This is ridiculous. Yeah. So basically in this one, uh, you press A to get your sled. And then you start moving around. Where's our, uh, I was wrong to press R to move through the menus, but it's the C buttons. So you, have, uh, you can steer and, yeah. Get the speed boost to blah blah blah. A pretty simple minigame, but watch out because the ledges can be a little annoying. And this course is a lot more... Um, crazy than the last one. Cause like there's a turn there's like uh, a lot more ledges and like there's uh, like forks in the road. First time I heard that like is there a there's a fork sitting in the road? I'm like uh <laughs> cause I was like six or something. Just like why is there a fork? But, yeah. I really like this minigame. This has always been one of my favorite two player two versus two games. And it makes it like, I mean, like, it, like, it makes it like, uh, you know, the comms could do something, but it always seems like I, I, can, I always do what I want to do. Like there, there's a shortcut. Yeah, there's a boost there, you can run through the boost and get some extra speed. Use the boost to get through. Thanks, Peppy Goo. It's just a stupid line in the top five that I said. It's just, it's just a pat it out, because, like, the power I recorded, I have to kind of... Uh, make extra dialogue, it's kind of stupid. Like that part of the Sonic Battle section where it's like, uh. What am I saying? The section of Sonic Battle where, uh. Like I said, it's not. One of the stories happened at the same time. Like, that was just padding. That was just deliberate padding. But yeah, we got a new record, which is pretty awesome. It's my least favorite person. I guess it's my friend Eric's favorite team because those are two favorite characters and he didn't get to use either of them when I played Warriors Battle Cannon with him. Speaking of the Happy Life XD, he will be coming for uh, Eric Happy Life XD. I said whatever. Shut up! Don't touch me! This rocks. Yeah, he will be coming for another board. I'm gonna have at least one board per Mario Party I do because Mario Parties are always best with uh, all the play. I'm not sure if she has this, she doesn't have anything. She can buy stuff, I think. I'm gonna use that. So, our uh, first item of the game. Well, I'm obviously use item 14. Pick 4. It's an old blind run fool. Aren't these fantastic rolls? I guess 15 is a disrespectful number when the maximum is 30. Oh! Could I get any more lucky? Well, yeah, I could have gotten 30 on that roll. Oh my god, what the heck is happening? This is ridiculous! I've never gotten this lucky in a mark. Well, I've gotten more lucky than this. But there's always chance time. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. Um, let me think. Wow, this has been going by pretty slow. I don't know why. Bumper. Another returning <laughs> minigame. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. So this one basically just have to knock your rivals off the stage. 
Yo, she's gonna fall! Oh my god! Stop! Um, this mini game can be kind of annoying because you slip around a lot. Sometimes the computers can just deliberately kill himself by walking off the ledge and no one even close to them. <laughs> Playing volleyball with me. Stop teasing me! Oh boy. <sighs> no. You get a lot more time, which is good. I also felt like I would get kept getting draws because we're running out of time. Okay, running out of time. Yashi wins! There's like five, there were like a part where they showed off a bunch of uh, 3DS games, and uh, there were five of them, and I'm just going to name those ones first because those were the ones that was most exciting to me. Or the ones that, uh, you know, like, wow, like, oh, there's a new console, and it's like, okay, that's a new console. Like, you expect something off of a new console, you don't expect something that great from being announced. So yeah, Mario Kart DS, that was the first, or Mario Kart 3DS was announced. That one's not my favorite. That's, it's probably my least favorite. Maybe not my least favorite. And of course, I'm the only one who can pay that. And watch, I'm gonna get last. No, I'm gonna get third! Okay, bumper balloon cars. This one's really easy. Basically, you have spikes in the front of your vehicle and, uh, uh, a balloon on your back. It's kind of hard to control, though, because... No, stop doing that! Like, left and right are changed direction, and down is, you know, like, like forward moves forward no matter which way you're facing. So if I'm facing left, then left will turn me, and forward will move me forward or up. So this minigame can be kind of difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. It, it's, like, the, the computers are affected by the really annoying controls as well. They don't cheat, which is surprising. Oh boy. That's all I have to say, play. See that, like, bumping into each other is kind of annoying. Well, why, is, why are you getting the extra points? So I lost 9 points by doing that, and Peach got, like, 30. She's beating me one pound. That's what I don't like about battle games. You can lose so many coins, and the computer can get so much from you paying more. Okay, Dizzy Dancing. This is actually my last this is actually this is the last well whatever. So basically your controls are messed up. Like left will move you right and down or something like not like that, but it's really random. And basically you have to get to that music note in the center. So I just like to find where it moves straight and then go straight. I don't really try to punch the opponents or anything. Just go straight and get to the music note or whatever that thing is. That's really simple. Okay, so that should be... It, yeah, less than turns. No, but stop doing that! He always does that on the, the fifth turn, which is annoying. So obviously she's gonna take Mario's. Like, if I had them, I had them, it would've been random, which one she took. Awesome! Get my coins! Stop doing that! Ugh. I'm not kidding, I'm trying not to. What? Huh? Ah! Question mark! Explanation point! Um, parentheses? I'll see you guys later.